A suburban mother desperate to get her adult daughter into drug treatment is hoping state lawmakers can help her do it. She's fighting to pass a law that would put her into rehab against her will. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov explains only on two. I love her too much. I did not fight to bring her into this world to bury her. Renee Portacalis is on a single-minded mission to save her 24-year-old daughter Danielle before Danielle's addiction to heroin and other drugs kills her. She's been battling addiction since she's 13. She started using at 13 and it just spiraled quickly. Portacala says she never expected her firstborn would become an addict. It started with pot, then pills, then heroin, while still a student at Batavia High School. It's ravaged her body and right now, Portacala has no idea where her daughter is. For this to happen, hurry, hard. Portacala says Danielle has been in and out of jail in treatment programs more than two dozen times. Right now, she doesn't want help. So Portacala started a push to pass Casey's Law in Illinois, which would allow Portacala to petition the courts at her own expense to force her daughter into treatment. And if she doesn't stay, she'll get thrown in jail. She's probably not going to be happy. But after a while, I want to advocate for her because her brain cannot advocate for itself. She doesn't know the right from wrong. The idea of Casey's law has... She started this petition and written some lawmakers, planning to write more now that the election is over. Can mandated treatment help? I think it can. Social worker and addiction specialist Dr. Caitlin Simpson says the important step is getting addicts in the door any way possible. I would say never give up and never give up hope that even if it's their 30th time in treatment, maybe it's that 30th time that they're going to get it and it's going to stick. That's Portacalis's hope and she feels now her only option. I'm not giving up. I will never give up. Casey's law currently exists in Kentucky with similar laws in at least two other states. Many proponents say with the current opioid crisis nationwide, every state should have something like this. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Mm, that's a heartbreaking story, but so inspirational yes. that she's trying to so determined. do right by her. And yes. we will track her progress. Okay, thanks.